it has been a pretty long time since I've done a proper Jason ranking on this YouTube channel. And just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Let me preface this ranking by saying there is only one mask on this ranking that I actually just do not like. The others I do, it's just ranked in order of preference. So if there is a particular mask that you like and it's ranked pretty low on this list, please don't get butt hurt about it or leave me messages about it and shit like that. This is just a meaningless ranking and it's my own personal opinion so again if you don't like it i'm sorry but without further ado let's get right into ranking the jason masks coming in dead last are both masks from jason x Chalk this one up to Sean Cunningham's brilliant directive to get Jason out of that hockey mask. Now the hockey mask we did get in this is okay. I understand it's supposed to be an updated and sleeker, more futuristic look of the hockey mask. But what's stupid about it is that by this point when the movie takes place, you know, in the actual year at the beginning, hockey had already transitioned to the goalie masks that we see today in real life. So whatever the f*** this is, is just not necessary, but I can live with it. That's a small little nitpick. However, this chromed out piece of shit is just an abomination. It's not creepy, it's not scary, and it's not Jason. And if you've seen my other videos, then it should not be a surprise to you that this sits dead last. You are one son of a bitch. Coming in at number 10 is the sack mask from part 2. I do feel bad putting the sack mask this low because I do like it, but it does sit at number 10 because a sack mask is a very cliche horror. Now it might not have been as cliche at the time when the film was made, I mean I can't answer that because I wasn't born until 1984, but it just seems to be the stock mask to use for a horror heavy and thus there's nothing really unique or special about it. But it is kind of creepy and it does work with the hermit Jason aesthetic from part 2, however you just can't beat that iconic look of the hockey mask. Unless, of course, it's Jason X, which is why Sack Mask is at number 10. Well, what do you think? I think you're drunk. <laughs> at number 9 is The Mask from the 2009 remake. Now, I can't really point to an exact reason as to why I put the remake mask this low on the list, other than the fact that I just prefer some of the others in the franchise over this one. Because in reality, it's not a bad looking mask, and it seems to be a relatively popular one among the fans. But I guess if I did have one little nitpick against it, it's that I think it's too weathered. Now I do like when these hockey masks are a bit distressed and not pristine, but the remake mask I think pushes that weathered and distressed look a little too far, to where it seems fake, if you know what I mean. Like it doesn't look like something that had been laying around collecting dust in a barn for 30 years. It looks like it's literally fresh out of the effects shop. And that's it. That's all I literally got as to why I would put the remake mask at number nine on this list. Coming in at number eight is the mask from Freddy vs. Jason. Now I know you've seen my other videos and you've heard me bitch about the look of Jason in like my Jason ranking and the franchise ranking. However, that aside, aside from what I believe to be an awful portrayal of the character, I do think they actually got the mask right. It's pretty close to what the original hockey masks were in the main series of films, even if it does at time look a little warped and oblong. But where this mask gets points is how damaged and bloody and beat the shit it gets by the end of the movie. Plus, I love all the slash marks in it from Freddy's glove. I mean, that's just a beautiful touch. So yeah, while I may have disagreements about the portrayal of the character, I think they actually nailed the mask. Coming in at number 7 is the hockey mask from Part 6. Yes, Part 6 is sitting here at number 7, which might be a shock to some of you considering how high I rank the Jason from Part 7, as well as how highly I rank the movie itself. But the mask just never really did it for me. I mean, the thing is about as big and flat and wide as a dinner plate. Plus, I'm annoyed by the lack of continuity between this mask and the one from part four. 
Because if you stop and think about it, it's really the only time in the series there's such an abrupt break of that mask continuity. Now, unless I'm wrong, which I very well could be. I've been wrong numerous times before. It's not like this will be a first. But are we to believe that that mask that Tommy has in his possession, which is the Jason mask in part six, is supposed to be the very same mask from the ending of part four? I mean, it sort of resembles the mask from the opening dream sequence of part five, but that's really stretching it if that's what this is supposed to be. Also, it's not like there was 10 plus years between the filmings of those two movies. It was only two. So there's just no excuse for such a different look. Unless they needed a new mask to fit over CJ Graham's giant head prosthetic. I mean, I don't know. But seriously, go look. Jason has a giant fucking head in that movie. Coming in at number six is the mask from Jason Goes to Hell. The hockey mask in Jason Goes to Hell is a pretty badass looking hockey mask when it's on the screen. I know I complained about the lack of continuity between the masks from part four and part six because there is a drastic change in the look of the mask from this one as opposed to the one from part eight. However, I'll always chalk that up to the toxic sewage that the mask had been drowned in at the end of that movie, and what we got here was the end result of that. And it's really a badass look. But thanks to a certain someone's genius directive and another's impeccable writing, this mask is barely in the movie for all but 10 minutes, which is why it sits no higher than 6th. Once again, thanks Sean Cunningham, thank you Adam Marcus, fucking assholes. Coming in at number five is the mask from part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan. Now we are getting into the upper tier of masks for me, starting with part eight. This has always been one of my favorite masks from a design standpoint. I mean, I just really like the look of those inverted chevrons. Yeah, sue me, something so simple is enough to win me over, I guess. However, there are two issues with this mask as to why it isn't ranked any higher. Number one is the piss yellow color of it. Had it been submerged in water for years, I would have understood the discoloration a little more. But it's not. It belongs to the horny silver spoons looking guy at the beginning. Which brings me to number two, the axe damage from part three. I mean, that's a pretty amazing replica he has, but unless this guy has a major hard on for serial killers, how would he know about the axe mark left in the mask? It's a nitpicky little gripe from me, I know, but when you have seen these movies as much as I have over the years growing up, you know, you start to notice these little details and those things just start to fester on you. And it's these two little details that just always annoyed me over the years. Coming in at number four is the mask from part three. When I was younger, I never really used to like this mask because it just looked too kind of boring and plain to me when I was younger. Now that I'm older and I've seen these movies a lot and I've had time to sit back and like really think on it, I do really love the mask from part three. I mean, it's the original gangsta when it comes to the hockey mask. It helped transform Jason into a horror icon and also become horror iconography itself. Because as we've seen in later installments, Jason without his hockey mask just isn't Jason. It's like Freddy without his glove or striped sweater, or Michael without the Shatner mask and coveralls. They are synonymous and will forever be linked. And God bless the man on set who was the hockey enthusiast who had the goalie mask in his car during filming. Kind of crazy to think that something so insignificant at the time would have such a dramatic impact on the world of horror forever. But as it is, it does sit at number four on this ranking because there are three masks that personally, I like just a little bit better. Coming in at number three is the mask from part seven. A masterful portrayal of Jason needs a masterful mask, and we got just that with part seven. Now I can forgive the little inconsistencies between the size and shape of this mask compared to part six, because this one is just fucking cool. And I give a lot of credit to John Carl Beekler, the film's director, who is also an accomplished makeup effects artist, because the level of detail that went into this mask is, in my opinion, masterful. They probably could have easily pulled a part eight and just had Jason get a new mask from one of the kids at the party house, but they stuck with the idea of using the same mask, story-wise, and really just making it look grungy, and especially keeping the side of the mask that was chopped up by the boat propeller at the end of six, 
it's just a killer look. And I love the fact that you could see part of Jason's jaw underneath of that mask. It reveals just enough and still keeps Voorhees terrifying. Coming in at number two is Roy Burns' mask from part five. Yeah, I know, call me crazy, but for me, the second best mask in the franchise was never actually even worn by Jason. Yes, Roy, come on, come on. It's your time to shine, finally. The look of the hockey mask itself is really unchanged from its traditional look, but it's all about those blue chevrons for me. It's such a badass look. I would like to believe that it was a conscious decision by the filmmakers as a bit of foreshadowing that this is not actually Jason since the chevrons on his mask are red, but that could just be wishful thinking on my part and it could all just be happenstance. One thing I never got though was why the mask in the movie looked so different from the mask in all the promotional materials like the movie posters. Now that's a mask I would have loved to have seen used, but I guess if they did, it might have been a little too obvious that it wasn't Jason. I mean, who knows? Well, that means we are down to number one on this ranking, and since there's only one mask left, I feel like it's pretty obvious. Roy, you know, I know it's been a long time, Roy, since you've been out here, but it is time to go. I'm sorry. Roy, what the f you're still here? You just go, just go! Damn, he's a needy little bastard. Well, now that that's taken care of, coming in at number one is the mask from part four. Yes, this is, without question, the best hockey mask in Friday the 13th, period. The look of the mask in Final Chapter took what was established in part three and ratcheted that shit up. Almost everything about this mask is a chef's kiss masterpiece. I love the combat damage as it were on this mask from the aftermath of part three, you know, the bloody axe gouge, and the fact that the chevrons start to peel off as the movie goes on. It's just so decrepit, but yet so rich in detail that the mask almost becomes a character unto itself in Final Chapter. And that's why it sits at number one as the king of Jason hockey masks. But yeah, that's it for the mask ranking. What are your guys' thoughts? Uh, yeah, I know I'm probably going to ruffle a lot of feathers with my actual rankings. I know a lot of people love the Part 7 mask or they love Part 3 and they feel like they should be higher or lower or, you know, they should even be number one. But, but you know, there is a reason why these two masks are the ones that I actually own. I just think they look pretty damn cool. Now these aren't like screen accurate or anything like that. I think these were made off of like the Chinese mass produced like really cheap uh, Jason masks you can get like at Halloween. But the quality of these is really cool. I mean, I think I've showed them off before in a video, this, you know, part four and part five. But maybe one day I'll get the actual screen accurate replicas. But for now, these will do. And uh, maybe I'll hang them back up in the background eventually. But Anyways, what are your guys' Jason Mask rankings? Please post them in the comments below and let's talk and let's just get a discussion going. What are your guys' favorite Jason Masks out of the franchise? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Adios. Now, GTFO!